a superstar of the beat age prepares to meet his public. David Bowie spends two hours before a show caressing his body with paint. Bowie is a skinny lad with a pasty complexion and ochre dyed hair in a teddy boy style of 20 years ago. Yet with a dash of makeup, he's transforming himself into an object that is worshipped by millions of girls. Outside the Winter Gardens of Bournemouth, some of those fans are arriving to pay homage to a man who's become the high priest of pop. Every seat was sold months ago. Some fans were even blessed with a glimpse of the master as he scurried into the theatre. Oh, oh no, I want to see him! What are you so upset about? <laughs> I want to see him! He's coming around the back. They said he was coming around the back. I've been waiting for ages to I see him. It's nine o'clock! Why are you so upset? <laughs> He's smashing! I kissed him! I kissed his hand! I kissed his hand! I kissed his hand. I kissed him. I went, oh, oh, oh it's lovely. I've been waiting to see him for ages. He's fantastic. Oh, I kissed his hand. He's got thin little legs. I, I know, bow legs. He's got lovely legs. Not only the young have come to ogle at Bowie, so have members of a pensioners club from Newcastle. It's as good as a show to us. We've never seen anything like this before. Haven't you? No. no. Meanwhile, the object of so much interest is trying on his kinky boots. His personal wardrobe mistresses attend the star before he graces the stage. This is the face the public wants. An ex-art student from Brixton, whose dad worked for Dr. Bernardo's homes, has turned himself into a bizarre, self-constructed freak. Impromptu, isn't it? It is a sign of our times that a man with a painted face and carefully adjusted lipstick should inspire adoration from an audience of girls aged between 14 and 20. Six months ago, Bowie was unknown to the general public. Today, this 26-year-old man earns about half a million pounds a year. He can afford a personal makeup artist to coat his nails in silver. Do I get nervous still? It is said that Bowie will soon be the world's number one beat singer. If he achieves such eminence, he'll be the first superstar of pop to wear shorty dresses on stage. Although he's married with a son called Zoe Bowie, he publicly admits to enjoying the intimate company of men as well as women, which hardly deters adolescent women from swooning beneath his feet. And his records are selling in their millions all over the world. He's waiting in the wings He speaks of senseless things His script is you and me Boy, time Though he lives in the claustrophobic world of the superstar Protected from the fans who'd show their devotion By ripping their idol apart If only they were allowed to get at him Boy, time On tour, he's cosseted either in his car, his dressing room, or hotel bedroom, surrounded by his bodyguards. Everywhere, there are the girls. Girls from teeny boppers to women in their early 20s. What would it mean to you to be able to go through that door? <laughs> I can hear going. I really would. He's just another fellow, you know? Well, it's, it's different. Not, nobody like him can produce the music, you know? 
Isn't it a bit degrading standing outside person. the door no. while he's inside? Well, no. Perhaps no, no, no. for him. Sorry? No. Why? It's degrading for me standing outside here. Why are you going you there? Know, don't you find... I mean, why do you stand here? Why do you think? They're still there in the morning, locked out in the cold, yet prepared to suffer anything for a chance to see or touch him. Oh, he's lovely, yeah, I touched him. It's all warm and lovely. What they don't realise is that behind the freakish image, the Bowie Circus, right down to the flashy car, is a well-oiled show business machine. On the surface, the circus seems bizarre. Yet his backing group are professional musicians, the Yorkshire lads with down-to-earth accents, whose appearance merely seems to be moulded to fit into the Bowie image. <laughs> the coach carries a team of 30. Electricians, road managers, sound engineers, stagehands who put up 15,000 pounds worth of equipment to project the superstar on stage. Behind the scenes, his costumes are professionally cleaned and pressed. During the act, he slips into something new three or four times at least. David's chosen today a neat little model with a fringe. Oh, they are. <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> Later, he selects a satin psychedelic leotard, and then he's off to the bedlam once more. itself is exciting. Unseen lighting men and sound mixers provide the stage effects. And then of course there's Bowie, tantalizing, mocking, outrageous. In reality he's more of a showman than a freak. Hollywood razzmatazz has come to the world of beat. He's also been smart enough to realize that in showbiz, the more outrageous you are, the more people will notice you. Because most of the reasons that I do what I do is because I like, I just like startling people. Startling? Yeah. Something to do. <laughs> England has a marvelous habit of being able to dissipate everything um, through this marvelous media. And long hair quickly got dissipated. I mean, I, I, I used to be able to stop traffic quite easily by just walking down the street. You know, no more than that, just because I had long hair. I'm, I'm a real trooper, you know. Uh, this is my life, really, you know, writing or performing. I don't, there's not much else I want. It's the biggest kick I, I know. I know all the drugs and, you know, you get a different kind of buzz off those, but stage is, is something else. It's um, partaking of people. I, I, I'm very much a character when I go on stage, I feel. I mean, I... I like an actor? Yeah, I believe in my part all the way down the line, right the way down. But it, I do play it for all it's worth because that's the way I do my stage thing. That's, that's part of what Bowie's supposedly all about. I'm, a, I'm a, an actor. Yeah. 
created scenes like this, the young saw them as rebels in an adult world. Bowie's appeal lies in rebellion too, only he must be more outrageous, for public tastes have changed. When he dresses up and plasters his face, the kids of today see it as his way of flaunting convention, and they respect him for it. It's worth wondering, though, what the beat age will spawn next, when someone like David Bowie isn't even freakish enough to shock us anymore.